What if the Lions 41 7? You're going to have to show me. I'm not, I'm not going to put it on all my sheets. That's but why would you one. take a team without their starting quarterback with a losing record to come here and cover a spread? I'm not giving no motherfucking body no motherfucking 14 points. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. So you would take 21 and a oh, half points what? and they get their ass guess, blew out the water. What, guess what you do? Stay away from the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, I'm not doing it. We was talking about green. Hey, anyway, you hey, brought me back. Hey, that, you and hey, Doug. I'm gonna let y'all know. Trevor Lawrence ain't playing. They coming to the fucking east side. We you think that. we finna play with their weak ass? Come on, man. man. That, that without without your starting mark. quarterback, what the fuck do y'all got to offer? What's the deal, baby? Yo, what up, though? Welcome to week 11, Tory B Sports Ben Podcast, NFL. You feel me? Got to get myself together fast. Uh, shout out to everybody that's here, man. I want to say uh, I appreciate y'all for coming, like always. Shout out to uh, Bank Road Entertainment for, you know, putting it to, uh, putting this together. Hey, Cito, how you feeling, brother? I'm feeling good. We in the building, man. I'm feeling real good. Um, I got my Let's Get Some Money shirt on from KK Attire. You feel me, Colleen's Creations? Facts. I'm feeling real good today, man. I feel like we're going to get to it, you know. Always. Sure. East side in the building. Always. Fine time, fine time. What's the deal, baby? Name so nice. You got to say it twice. Mr. AKA Mr. Big Shit Talker. That's right. That's like right. Follow me, not follow me. Get you some money. That's right. <laughs> Be you ready? What's the deal? That's what's up, my dog. That's what's up. Uh, we got a guest coming, man, but he running late as always. Marmar O'Neal. <laughs> um, it's Thursday night. We watching the Commanders and they taking on the Philadelphia Eagles in Philly. Man, we got I got Jalen Hurts under twenty seven point five pass attempts. He had like sixteen, seventeen right now, so I'm kind of worried. It's it's about to be halftime, but Philly do got the ball. The Commanders up right now, seven nothing. Um. Who y'all liking in this game, man? Everybody on the slip. <laughs> Everybody on the slip. That's your favorite line. That's the only line I need. Like, uh, <laughs> he talking about who going to win the game, man. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, I ain't going to lie. I got – um, I'm taking the commanders in this one. And right now, they holding up. Um, I expected it to be more of a shootout. We yeah. ain't seen that side of it yet. It's more of a defensive game for sure. But um, the commanders is up. By a touchdown right now, with a minute and forty seconds left until halftime, so I'm looking good on my slip right now for the most part. What's on your slip? Um, well, on the other end of my slip, on my slip, I got um Washington plus three and a half. I took them with the points. You know what I'm saying? So that's looking good on that end because they up seven. But um, I got Jaden. Daniels to get two touchdowns passing and um Jalen Hurst to get two touchdowns passing. And nobody's throwing a touch a passing uh passing touchdown yet. So okay. Uh, I'm waiting to see how that turned out for me. But we still got a whole nother half of football to go. So they can still do it on that slip. But you're right. You're right. Uh uh, what's his name? My boy Smith. He just caught a nice little quick slant and did his one too with that thing. Yeah, that was about 25 yards. He did. That was a good look as far as that pass. One of the best passes in the game because so far, because it's been a really a, a running game and there's been a lot of stops. Facts. Fontaine, what you liking in this joint? So I really left this game alone because to me it was a toss up. But I mean, you couldn't beat Washington plus 190. If you take a money line, that, that, that's actually a good bet. I'm, I'm watching because. You know, both of them, both of them got good defenses. Both of them got a good team. They both on a roll right now. But honestly, I left this. I left this game alone. I actually, I got a par. I got a like like a six seven leg parlay in. It probably give me like fifty sixty dollars. Just trying to make some money. Yeah, just trying to make some money. money. I really didn't. I really kind of stayed away from this game. Yeah, that's uh, as always is important, man. Uh, as as anything bank road management manage your bank road that's what sports betting is um today we started a 10-day challenge man so shout out to y'all if y'all use the two picks i don't know what's going on in uh with them right now but i'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna get through day one and uh, if you want to continue the challenge with me man just you know keep watching because i'm dropping the picks i dropped it today on youtube so tomorrow i'm gonna drop another one when we go to day two lock in 
B, what you like in this game? Everything on your slip. <laughs> I, I got you. I got you. I got you. So to get you all the heads up, uh, with everybody, man, this week, all of us, just get, think about your best pick, you know, that you want to give out. And we're going to put a parlay in, the community parlay. So it's four of us. If Marmar O'Neal come, it'll be five. Everybody pick, man. We're going to, uh, I'm going to put it in for us and see what we can do. And shouts out to Yak Gotti, too, man. We know he ain't here today, but shouts out to my brother Yak, man. We know you getting it in. You good. We see you, Yak. Most definitely. Shout out to Yak Town, man. I meant to uh, mention your name, too, bro. You already know you, 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 you feel me. This, you in here. You ain't in here, but you in here. Vital piece of the podcast. Most definitely. Most definitely. To the podcast, boys. Most definitely. We coined that. So that's Uh, our shit. Let us keep it. Most definitely, man. Uh, we're gonna get into the games, man. Uh, Sunday games. We don't have a, a um out of the United States game this week, and the games start all at one o'clock. And we're gonna start with the one o'clock games. The first game on the slate, the Indianapolis Colts. They taking on the New York Jets. The Jets uh at minus four. The total is forty four. Uh, Fontaine, what you like in this joint, you man? Said the who? The Jets and the Colts. There we go with this shit again. Let's hear. Yeah, uh, some stay away from shit. Let's hear. No, it's not even. Listen, Aaron. Aaron is my guy, but the way they be. I mean, I. I just. I got to stay away from them. Yeah. Because they, they, they look bad. So you taking the Colts with the points? I, yeah, yeah. They matter of fact, they give them the Colts how many points? Four. They give them the four. I'm gonna move it up to seven and a half. Just on my on my end. Just to be safe, yeah, I'm gonna move the Colts up to seven and a half. That's gonna be a parlay builder. So that means the Jets gotta win by eight, and I don't see it happening. Yeah, I really don't even see them winning the game. I know, man. I really want to take the Colts. What's the money line on that? What well, plus one sixty five? See, you could do that. That's a parlay builder right there. Is that so, your dog of the week? I'm not. No, I ain't gonna go. I gotta hear some <laughs> more games. Now I had to go back and look. I don't know, but. It might end up being my dog of the week. Yeah. Because the way the Jets been looking, man, the way they've been playing, I mean, damn, Aaron, I mean, what the fuck is going on? Bad. Yeah, it's, it's been bad for the Jets. And you my guy. You got you went and got your guy, Devontae. You get you got all them over there. What the fuck is going on, man? Yeah. But like I say, I'm moving them up to seven. I'm moving them to seven and a half. Yeah. And we're gonna go from there. He sure seemed like it down there. Yeah, he like Bro, he what you like in this game? Um, so both of these teams said. Well, the Jets sit at three and seven on the record um for the season. And the Colts sit at four and six as for their record for the season. Um last week the Jets took on the Cardinals and they got stumped 31 to 6. Uh, last week the Colts took on the Bills and they got beat 30 to 20. So both of these teams are struggling right now and they both coming off of losses. So it's really a toss up on I guess who's more motiv- more motivated to you know come through in the end but in this one i probably like i say i've been leaning on aaron Rodgers all year and he have not came through like nan time but i think in this game i think if he you know because both of these teams are struggling so i just give it to them just off of aaron Rodgers' arm so you're saying just money line pretty much okay that's at minus 200 that which is not a bad pick if you put something with it or use it in a parlay uh form you got any player props or not really? Um, I take like I said, I take AR to throw three touchdowns. You might as well piss it away. Do it. I like that one. Who the, uh, who the uh coaster has started? They got a uh, Flacco Storm. No sir, Anthony Richardson back on the mound. He's back on the mound. <laughs> right, I guess they think they see it must be all wet. So we go, so I got I got Richardson actually. I'm gonna have Richardson. What a pass, how many pass yards I got, man? I don't. I can't really see that. No, no. I got Richardson. I got Richardson going over 200 pass. No, I got going over 200. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take Richardson for his rushing yards. Mm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take him to go over his rushing yards. And you will put the coach plus four with that. Seven and a half. Seven and a half with Richardson uh, over plus over, over his rushing yards. Got you. Got you. B, you got something in this one? Uh, I really gonna stay away from it more than likely, probably, but. Uh... I do fuck with Aaron Rodgers, man. He just, I don't know, man. I'm going to. You going to stay away from it? I, I, might, I might, if I do do some player props, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I might just stay away from it. Or I might just see who, I might just go money line, whoever got the hot, uh, hottest. 
I got oh, you. Oh, no, the fuck you didn't. I got you. So, uh, last week, I didn't really give out no picks. I didn't make no shorts. I got kind of caught up, busy. I'm definitely going to put the work in this week. I'm also going to give you all my picks inside the uh, podcast. This week, I like the Colts plus four in this game. I also like Jonathan Taylor to give me 70 rushing yards. If I could take it at 60, I would. Um, I know they probably not offer 70, but they should. And I like Brees Hall for 40 rushing yards. That's a three-leg parlay, that the same game parlay that I would give out this week. And I'm also going to uh, probably tweak it a little bit in the short videos. But definitely look forward to Jonathan uh, Taylor rushing yards and Brees Hall for 40 yards. The next game, the Minnesota Vikings, they taking on the Tennessee Titans in Tennessee. The Tennessee Titans, uh, they giving us Titans plus six. Man, the total out. is 39.5. Um, what you like? What you like, Fontaine? What, what, what we got? The Minnesota Vikings. Yes, home? yes, sir. And the Tennessee Titans in Tennessee. I'm taking Minnesota. I'm taking Minnesota, man. Minus the six. Uh I'm gonna move that down to minus two. To minus just, two. Huh? Just to play a safe, I'm gonna move that game out of minus two, man. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm taking the Minnesota Vikings. What else would you put with it? Uh, I actually would put uh, what's the quarterback name? Don Dar- Dar- Darnold for yeah. uh, maybe once. It depends on where they got Donald Donald yards at. With his passing yards, yeah. Okay, it depends on where they got him at. You so I don't know the player them. prop yet, but I'm uh, but I'm for sure taking Minnesota minus two. Plus. Probably Sam Donald over uh Plus Sam Donald probably over his yards. Okay. <laughs> At least just Justin Jefferson. Either either him or Justin Jefferson. Yeah, sure. yeah. I'm taking either one of them too. Sure. But the, the pick of the day is I'm taking them in a minute. Uh, if you want to know the game props, or like if you got a, a, a thing going on at your job, I know y'all just picked the game straight up. Minnesota. Brody, what you like in this joint? I'm going with Fontaine on that one. I like Minnesota for sure. Um, Minus the six. Uh, that is tough. Like he said, I know he said drop it down. Mm -hmm. I would probably agree with that a lot more. And the reason why I say that is because last week the Vikings played the Jaguars, who, if you're looking on paper, they really shouldn't be able to compete with the Vikings. But the game, the end score was 12 to 7. So it was a rocky game, the whole game. Nobody could call it. So if I was anybody, man, I wouldn't put too much into the score. I would probably go money line with that one. But at the same time, you always can depend on Justin Jefferson to get his yards. So that would probably be a player prop that I would take. He definitely going to cook whoever it is they try to put on him in Jacksonville. Gotcha. So, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely take Justin Jackson, yeah. Jefferson, Justin Jefferson with his yards or, you know, him him with his yards or maybe uh, any time touchdown for him as well. So. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> look, they here contemplating Austin Eckler receiving yards. We had it to 25. He got like 40, 50, 60 yards yeah. right now, which is crazy That's plus money. money. Yeah, it's, it's crazy plus money. Um, In this game, the Minnesota and Tennessee game oh, myself, bro. I'm going to give out Aaron Jones for 60 rushing yards and Marcus Pollard for 60 rushing yards. That's a good two-leg parlay that I would use, put it together, $100 bill, $50 bill, 125 150 depending on your unit size. But I like those two picks. So you know what game. I am going to take? I'm taking Minnesota, and I'm going to take Calvin Ridley. That's what I'm going to take. Mm. R- Ridley for the last two weeks. Over his receiving yards? Yes. That for the last two, three weeks really has been yeah. going nuts. I want to say I, I like yeah. Will Levis to throw two touchdowns yeah, as well because he did last week, and Ridley was a part of that. You know what I mean? So keep your eyes out. I definitely like Sam Darnold to throw two uh, passing touchdowns. You know, that's my that. thing I've been cooking up. We won a little few dollars off that, so we're trying to reenact that event this week uh, on Sunday. Hot down here, baby. <laughs> uh, y'all got anything else for that one? Vikings and Titans? Nah, that's it. That's the only pick I got for that. Okay. Vikings money line. Yeah, that's a smart pick. Minus two sixty is 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 it is. I just I feel like. Yeah, it is. I just feel I like just said, ever it, since it, Minnesota got whooped by us, man, they ain't what's the money been the same. Minus 260. That's a good parlay, bill. It is. It that's, is. That's a definitely but a good parlay. But the Titans bill. could win this game hey, is what I'm telling you. I don't see it. I don't see a winning this game. Plus 210. I don't see a, I don't see a winning this game. I don't. Did Minnesota win last week? 
yeah. Uh, yeah. Twelve to seven. Was, yeah, I don't see, but I don't you see, see them. I, I don't see them. I don't see Tennessee beating them. This, uh, I see. I see Minnesota coming back out, and I see Minnesota get they get they getting back to themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The last couple of weeks they haven't been. They've been coming out flat. They've they been coming out flat when they played us, right? Yeah. And that was part of. The and game. every yeah, since yeah, then, yeah, they haven't yeah. looked the same. They haven't looked unstoppable. Yeah. At one point, Sam Darnold looked at like uh, Dan Marino. You know, he he on point. He doing what he need to do. But after we beat those guys, they haven't looked the same. And Tennessee with Levis back, you know what I'm saying, at the reins, they got a chance. With Pollard running the way he been running, Minnesota had a good running defense, and they probably still do. But I know for sure that Tennessee is going to compete in Tennessee and to give them six points. What's wrong with moving it up to seven and a half and taking uh, Jones for rushing? 60 rushing and Pollard for 60 rushing. They ain't going to beat them by that much. And Minnesota was high scoring, you know what I'm saying? But they haven't been as of late. So I don't know. I like Tennessee with the with the points. How many points they give them? Six. But six. I would move it up to seven and a half. Not me. I, I, I don't know. You want you to move it up to seven and a half? I would. If I'm going to put something. If I'm going to take Tennessee, I'm going to move it up to ten and a half. Me, honestly. Okay. I'm just going to just to play it safe. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. You got to play it safe. You at least got to give yourself a two touchdown cushion. So would you use that ten and a half in a parlay, or would yeah. you just single bet it? No, I would use that in a parlay. Okay, that would be like that'll be like like I said, you gonna take I'm gonna take Minnesota. That's a good parlay building. Mm-hmm. If you're gonna take Tennessee, you you put them plus ten and a half. It's pro- which probably probably is minus, which probably is minus one ninety. It's probably it's probably better to take Tennessee with the ten and a half than it is to take the money line. See, sometimes, see, that's why you, you got to look at the bets. Yeah. Like, sometimes it'd be better. It, you saying it, it's better to take Tennessee It might be and better to take them because Than take a Minnesota yeah, money they're, line? They're plus 210 to win, win straight. If, if six and a half is minus, if you're giving them six already, yeah. and it's minus 110, 10 points ain't going, it ain't that much, 10 and a half. It might it's be probably two, still two lower than the 260. It could be. That's what I'm trying to say. It could be. But what would you put with it? I don't got we gotta go through the rest of the games. Yeah. Yeah. That's just, I would, that's I would a have a to put some builder. That's a start. It, it is. It is a good parlay builder. It's a start. It's a good parlay builder. So would you put so would you put uh the Minnesota Vikings plus ten? Well, no, you said the Tennessee Titans plus ten and a half. Would you put them with the Indianapolis Colts? Plus what you said, six plus, and a half. Plus, yeah, that, that, that would be that, that, that's my parlay build. That's 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 how that's you a start good to build two leg a play parlay. Like, a good two leg. Okay. I, I can see that. I can see yep. that. Bro, do you got anything for Minnesota, Tennessee? I had already said um, Justin Jefferson to get his job. You did. You did. Him. You did. Uh, you got anything for this joint, B? Minnesota, Tennessee? I'm going to just go. Um, no, I said I'm going to go money line. You did. You did. I'm just doubling back, man. You know, circling yeah. the box. Man in the box. Being thorough. You feel me? I feel you. The next game, the Baltimore Ravens, they taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh. The spread is minus three three towards the Baltimore Ravens. The total is 48.5. Talk to me, Fontaine. What you liking in this joint, man? You said Baltimore who? Pittsburgh. Baltimore minus three. I'm staying away from that game. You staying away from it? I'm going to take me a couple. Pro- I'm going to take Derek Henry anytime touchdown in that game. Yeah. And... Russell fucked me last week. He didn't get his 200. So I'm going to take Russell at 175. Mm. And you're going to run with them two picks? I'm going to run with them two. I'm going to take Russell for 175. And I'm going to take Derrick Henry anytime touchdown. Okay. I don't give, give a fuck who wins the game. Yeah. No. Smart. Bro, who you like in this joint? So this game, um, Ravens and Steelers is a big rivalry game. Um, Ravens sit at 7-3 on the season. Steelers sit at 7-2 on the season. But what's interesting about this matchup with them both coming into this week is that last week they both had very, very close games. So Ravens beat the Bengals last week 35-34, to and then the Steelers came out on top against the Commanders last week 28-27. to mm. So both teams won games by one point. So they both had really, really close and high-scoring games. So yeah. that's very interesting coming into this week to make me say, like Bill said, this is one to stay away from if you don't know who to pick. Yeah. If you got more of a loyalty, because these are both teams with big fan bases. So if you got more of a loyalty to one team, I Duh. can see you rocking with your team on that end. But 
if I had to pick one, like I say right now, I would probably take the Ravens because ain't nobody fucking with Mr. Jackson for real. Um, so I would probably that's take good. Lamar to throw two touchdowns and um, get his rushing yards, and I would probably take Ravens money line. Got you. So and, go ahead. Lamar's a, Lamar's a good bet, but Lamar has been he hasn't been getting his yards for like the last two weeks. Lamar has been under his rushing yards. He hasn't got his yards for the last two weeks. So I'm gonna say, like I just said. Derrick Henry to score any time touchdown. And who else did I say? Uh, uh, 175. I'll say Russell Wilson at 175. That's just on, on the safe side. Yeah, that's smart. That's on the safe side. And you can even take Lamar for 150. Yeah, and he threw four touchdowns last week. Lamar threw four Lamar, touchdowns? Lamar threw four touchdowns last week against the Bengals. Yeah. He had 25 completions out of 33 attempts, 290 yards. Four passing Myers. touchdowns. So – in this game, to me, man, I'm going to be straight up with y'all. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they've been doing everything I want them to do. You know what I'm saying? Anytime I jump out there with them on the underdog pick, they've been getting it done. Last week, they got it done on the money line side, which was uh plus money. I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers plus three. It's safe, plus 100, so this still plus money with the plus three points. I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers plus the points. I'm also going to take – um, where am I at? Let me see. I'm going to take <laughs> – You know what else is a good pick for that game? Uh, Here you go. Uh, uh, Pickens. Pickens mm -hmm. is a good pick for that game, too. To go over receiving yards. Over yeah. receive yards. So I'm going to take uh, Lamar Jackson under passing yards in this game because I don't think that he's going to go crazy on the Pittsburgh Steelers defense. That's just what I'm thinking. They in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh going to show they but I don't uh, – I wouldn't second-guess Pittsburgh winning this game all right at plus 150. Yeah. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens, they have been playing big competitors, but at the spread, they five, <coughs> four, and one. The Pittsburgh Steelers at the spread, seven and two. So, like, with that being said, I'm taking the Steelers plus the three, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on that money side for them Steelers. But I also like Lamar Jackson to go under his passing yards. I also like Russell to go over his, uh, not, I'm not going to say his passing yards, but I'm going to say over 225 passing yards. Um, the Steelers should be able to get this done, man. So this is a, a a good pick for me. I like this one. I'm I'm really real confident in Pittsburgh really putting that work on Lamar and them this week. Lamar and them do for a loss, man. All they can really do is run the ball. They defense not really behind them. So I'm going with the Pittsburgh Steelers plus the three. Lamar Jackson yeah, yeah. under passing yards and Russell Wilson over 225 passing yards in that game. The next game, the Cleveland Browns, they're taking on the New Orleans Saints in New Orleans. The spread is minus one towards the Saints. The total is 44.5. Who are you that. liking, bro, well, in this joint? You said the Browns versus the Saints? Yep. Yeah, I'm liking Cleveland, six. for sure. Yards rushing. Um, you know, anybody been watching the podcast know I've been hard on the Saints all season. Got 56 so yeah. I'm taking Cleveland, man. I'm going 14 yards. Um, uh, Any player prop that I, I would have. Is Chubb healthy right now? What? I'm taking Chubb to get his yards, man. I'm rocking with Chubb all the way. So real quick to go with you, I, to get you I right like so Chubb's to go over rushing, and I like the Cleveland Browns to win this game. So we on the same page. Yes, sir. This is a pick em game, and I like those two picks, so we, we locked in on them. I got you. Yeah. Fontaine, who you like in this joint? The Cleveland Browns taking on the New Orleans Saints. The spread is minus one towards the Saints. I'm not fucking with that game at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, not, not, not. No. Hard on you everything. ain't getting involved in this I'm not one? not getting involved in on everything. Listen. I watched the motherfucking New Orleans Saints go in there and fuck my sheet up last week. <laughs> I was I was never picked. I, I've been yeah. staying away from them niggas. Yeah, they sure. they they uh they dangerous. They end up winning uh, the game. name is mad. He's pissed off. Everybody been talking shit about him. Yeah. But he been playing like shit. They fired their coach too. De Derek Carr has been playing like shit. Yeah, like so, the offensive coordinator I, or something. Listen, you can, I'm staying away from them. So who they, they got? Chris, they got Chris Olave back. They still got yeah. a lot of their players, but they traded away players. Like that's like a toss -up. that's like a toss up game. They got rid of Lattimore. Yeah. That shit is like a toss-up game. So if, if you listen to this, you stay away from that Saints and uh, Cleveland Brown game. Don't fuck with it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. You'll be like, man, that motherfucker, that motherfucker on the podcast told me, leave that shit alone. And another reason why would be because the Browns sit at 2-7 and seven on the season and the Saints record is at 3-7. and seven Well, Massage, Massage Washington got them sitting at 2-7. and seven. Yeah. Massage, yeah. Massage won, what, what, think one game before he went out? Both teams that motherfucker was 1-6. and six. Yeah, he sure was. He was 1-6. and six. I think Winston finna play a little bit better. He, he do for another good game. I don't know. James Winston. Not, 
But I think, like I said, I think the Browns have enough collectively, even throughout Winston's dumbassness, to win. Yeah. I think they can Winston is not a bad game manager. You got Chubb. You got a few little pieces, and your defense is not just totally garbage. Winston is the equivalent of, like, what social media can do for you as an athlete. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you become a personality okay, over that's good. actually – producing yeah you still you can, can like make some money on. yeah yeah that, but this is the thing too though bro character he is he is he is that but at the same time winston produced the win his first start out you know what i'm saying at yeah, quarterback he, like and he said, threw for decent yeah, yards manager i yeah. respect it but he does come with some baggage meaning like yeah, you know he has yeah. off games he showed regression yeah totally shit like athlete yeah but, but for sure uh, you made a name for yourself early, and that's carried you further. Most definitely, you know. How many right Browns? Uh, in this but game, man. Man. But they got man. I like <laughs> y'all in here trying to cook up halftime. Yeah, they, 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 you hear it. <laughs> we went with the same pick. So no, no, not on what this one. I'm that, that, that'll make, you make some money. Yeah, yeah, we did. Besides, we put, yeah, we both took yeah, Browns um, money line, and then Chubb. Chubb, yeah, yeah, over Russia. Over Russia. Over Russia. Uh, the next game, man, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Sixty for sure. They come into the East Side. They lose. No, don't, don't let nobody tell you different. That is the East Side of Detroit, Michigan. The they taking on what that the shit up to? my Detroit Lions. The spread is minus fourteen. The total is forty-seven. Fontaine, who you like in this game? Which one? The East Side taking on Jacksonville. Down, come down on, away. No, listen, what I got on tonight? Are we gonna I'm cover gonna go, the spread? So you get. Come on, man. You know I'm going yeah, east side. Like, you know I'm going east side, Lions, man. And the I'm flag. sitting right. You know who I'm going. That was the question. You ain't even had to ask who I'm going. Is they gonna cover the spread? What's the spread? Minus fourteen. No motherfucking sir. Mm -hmm. Don't you go listen for all the betters if you listen. I love the Lions to death. I used to hate them. He's better get some every week. Don't you take <laughs> your man. don't you take <laughs> your ass in there. And get nobody no 14 points. That's two touchdowns. Matter of fact, I'm taking Jacksonville and I'm moving them up to 21 or or, or 20. I'll mm. tell you what I'm gonna do because you, you might come out better than that. You ain't gonna put them, you gonna put it in parlay? Yeah. I'll get Jacksonville 20. So you don't think we can whoop them by 14? Listen here, man. Some of the shit that we be doing sometimes. That I'm moving them up. I, listen, we probably we, we, no. I'm not doing. I'm not doing it. I'm not. No, I ain't gonna lie. Our, not, perfect, gonna our perfect quarterback did just throw five he interceptions last game. Picks. So, do he you think do we gonna cover the spread? Listen, fourteen points. I, I I'll say this. I said a comment in the last couple of weeks we was on the show and people could rewind it and see. I said that the Lions, anybody that we've been playing, we've been stumping the shit out their ass, and that was not true. Silly. <laughs> So, we don't be stumping the shit out of everybody. Right. We be looking good right. when they count, right. and we put motherfuckers in their place when they matter. That is true. But to say that we be beating motherfuckers by 14, See. 21, whenever it needs to be happening, yeah. don't be happy. Quarterbacks right. So, yeah. no, I don't yeah. think motherfuckers so, might fuck with them at all. So, so do you... by 21 <laughs> No, I don't think that. Like, so, But I do I do get my boys to win, for sure. But The money line is 850. Well, 850, uh, for the east side, mine's, mine's 850. Like I said, take the Jacksonville Jaguars and move them up to 21. So, me in this game, I ain't gonna stunt to y'all. I'm taking Gibbs anytime touchdown, Montgomery anytime touchdown, and the Lions to cover the 14. The Lions will cover this 14 by halftime, and I'm gonna tell you why. Jared Goff had a, had a terrible game. Yeah, that's true. We still won the game. You understand? We still won the game. It doesn't matter. I don't expect Jared Goff to throw inside of our stadium, Ford Field, five interceptions again. We I don't home. expect, yeah, I don't expect for uh, Gibbs or Montgomery to fumble. You know what I'm saying? So turnovers on our side will be limited. Now you looking at them Jaguars. I got Montgomery to score. Yeah, Montgomery and Gibbs. Now you looking at the Jaguars offensively, Travis Etienne under rushing yards, whatever his number is. They might have it at like 31, 32, 33 under. He's not going to run wild on us. If anybody's going to get a few rushing yards, it's going to be Bigsby. I like Bigsby to get uh, 40 rushing yards. If it's not really priced well, 
I would take him you to do? get 60. Yeah. That big back, he came not 50. That's who they're giving the ball to. And they then I will, I will also big. say, watch out for J-Mo this week, too. He had, you know, he's been quiet since he came back yeah, last week. Yeah, but he's still, you he's know, time. still J Mo. Yeah, of course. But, you know, you saying any time touchdown, touchdown. Yeah. touchdown this week? Watch out for J Mo to get a he touchdown. A I would I see you. that. I I could see that this week coming up, especially too. against these Jags. I everybody out there, because this is, and I'm not saying that, but this is gonna be one of those games when, like, the Lions just played the Titans. When they played them in Detroit, listen, and they broke out every fucking thing listen, in the book. That's what I'm trying and to tell everybody you. That Why they you think the number is 14? Yeah, of course. I'm so checking the East Side Lions. Look out for J Mo to don't definitely let, get don't let on that the shit board. Fool you, man. Yeah. So you don't got no faith that they can beat them by 14. I know I'm not getting no, I'm not giving nobody no listen. I ain't saying I, no fuck listen, about, but I will say I'm never do whatever listen, we listen, want this in is a lot of ways. This is football. We're gonna win. This is gonna win and motherfuckers gonna score. This is football. This is any given Sunday. Anything like what happened, I'm not giving no, I don't give a fuck who they is. I'm not giving nobody two touchdowns. I feel you to cover, man. That's a lot of fucking points, man. It is. Anything can happen at the end of the game. We can be we can be being there, we can take our starters out. They can drive back down. It's like listen, yeah. I'm not doing that. No, I respect that. You gotta you gotta learn. Now, this is the NFL. So this is any given True. Sunday. True. What what is Jaguars plus money? I mean, what, how, how much plus money they are? The Jaguars. Plus five seventy five for the money line. Yeah, what you saying? I'm talking the East Side Lions, but it don't hurt you. It don't hurt to go put you twenty five on it. On what? On what? On the Jacksonville. Hey, listen. Let's get to the next game. Parlay build on the slip by itself. No, I give me a three game. Put, Let's get, get to the next game because y'all about to piss me off here. Talking that bullshit. That shit do something. Y'all tripping. The next game, the East Side Lions gonna cover the spread, man. Y'all talking about some fucking they might, man. What, man? What? The Green Bay Packers taking on the Chicago Bears, man. The Bears minus five and a half division game. The skip forget who? (laughs) That's a gimme. The uh, Green Bay Packers minus five and a half. The total is forty. I'm taking Green Bay minus two, man. Green Bay minus two. Any player props? I'm taking uh, Romeo Dobbs to get his yard. I gotta look at the weather to see how the weather looking. But I'm taking Romeo Romeo Dobbs, and I'm also taking Jordan Love to go over 200. Okay, okay, Brody, what you like in this joint? Okay, so in this game right here, we got the Bears who sit at four and five on the season, and the Packers who sit at six and three on the season. Um, mm-hmm. Packers just came off of a loss to Detroit last week, 24 to no, 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 no. They had a bye week last week, clearly. So we, played, we just played the Texans. Yeah. So they played the last game that they played was against the Lions. They lost 24 to 14. You know right. I'm taking so the Lions. Coming into this week, I guess they got fresh legs. They about to play the Bears. And the Bears just played the Patriots and they lost 19 to 3. They got stumped. Mm-hmm. 19 to 3. So I'm going Packers, even though it's FTP, you know, all the way. I'm a Detroiter. Um I'm taking the Packers in this one though, and like I said, I'd take probably uh Jordan Love to throw a touchdown. I that. Um, that would probably be the only. I wouldn't. I much. wouldn't even probably say two touchdowns because with this being a rivalry game like this, it's gonna be a mud fight. I think it's gonna be a, yeah. a really like low scoring game. Gotcha. But I take Jordan Love to throw a touchdown. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, you know. You already said what you liked in this one. Yeah, my so my bro, shout out to my bro Forty man. He out here, he on my live. He said he telling me my bro Forty. He said fourteen too much, bro. I feel you. I feel you. So we we, we going back to it. You can say fourteen too much. They haven't priced us that high none this season, but we're due to whoop somebody's ass. So, like, so period. Like, like I think the safe bet for me on that game, I'm taking Jacksonville. Listen, Parlay Builder, I'm going to move them up to 21, 22. <laughs> I don't see the Lions beating them by that many points. I'm sorry. That's cool. But when it comes true, then what? It just happened. Show, prove me wrong. So you are like we ain't been fucking people up. We, we have Dallas. We put up 50 on Dallas. That, that, we whooped Tennessee. Motherfucker. Listen, the fuck you just listen, listen, Jacksonville ain't cut from no different they, part they, from them. They terrible too. Why the yeah. fuck we can't whoop them by halftime? Yeah. We can do that by half. Yeah, you listen, man, people coming here because guess what? 
They want to come. They want to come prove something now. Who you I, like? You look, like I who? do agree with Fontaine they on this. Prove something. They I agree, come I agree here, on this. They're going to play us hard, they, man. They haven't been they, doing it like that. They're not coming here and bullshit around with the Detroit, the East Side Lions. They haven't been doing it. They don't have to come in here and bullshit around with us. If you can't fucking score, you can't score. They y'all, act like, y'all act like mysteriously Jackson Field been at first half. They got 28 points. No, we didn't no, that. We so get, what did y'all say? We've we been winning by three points. No, so if it, it might happen that the way. Texas, the Houston Texans yeah. are a way better football team than Jackson Field. If you, if you can real fast, did have the Houston Texans played the Jaguars Let's this see. season? Because if I'm not mistaken, that's in the same – you know, the like, cause you said giving a minus three. This one of my what my, my could you said minus three, but it, it might it's be, not gonna pay you. It's not well, I just said it, it's not gonna pay you nothing. So that's the thing about that's why I say you might as well take Jacksonville and you move them up to either 21 or 24 points. That's still not gonna yes, pay you. Yes, it nothing. is. But it, that's Look, I'm gonna show me exactly what it is. I'm gonna the tell Texans you exactly have what played is. the Jaguars. And what was the score, bro? 24 to 20. And that's the Texans and the Jaguars. Who won the game? The Texans. What week was this? This was on September 29. This was one, two, three, week four. Oh, uh, you said what's the, what was they at? That's what I was gonna ask. They I was in Houston. The fucking field goal. They something. was where? They was in Houston. Mm. What was he doing? Yeah. So, yeah. so Jacksonville did that. Mm-hmm. And, and now they got us priced in Detroit. Let me ask you this Who has Houston whooped like that? Who has Houston who, like has beat Houston the shit out just of? Beat the, the fuck out of anybody? Uh, let's see. They no. Nope. Where's let's, McLaurin at, man? They did. They beat the Patriots forty-one to twenty-one. In like weeks. That's the Patriots, right? That's the Patriots. Okay. They so, beat. Right, right. Wait, what? What? What would we do to the Patriots right now in Detroit? If we played the Patriots this week, we would probably beat them niggas by two touchdowns. Possibly, you stop right. It's possible. So you said Jacksonville. Okay, Jacksonville plus what you said twenty one. You said Jags plus twenty one. It said minus three thirty. So it's not bad, but it's like you're gonna have to definitely put some with minus three thirty when you got Jacksonville bill plus the twenty one point five. Oh, is minus three thirty. What's minus three thirty? Jacksonville plus twenty one point five. That's what I'm trying to tip. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's not, not bad. It's not bad. It's a parlay builder. It's better than taking them motherfuckers. You take a Detroit all the way down to minus three. What's that? We take Detroit down to minus three. <laughs> so that, that, that so, means negative 600. So to take Detroit minus 21 and a half is plus 240. No. I'm no, I'm just, I'm just telling you. Okay. The same way you saying that they are covered at 21, uh, I'm saying that the Lions will beat them by 21. Oh, okay, big dog. It, it ain't, what, it's what, just that. But you see what the fuck going on? Yeah, it, it's it. I want Trevor, the Lions to Trevor win. Lawrence playing this week. What's up, Stan? No, he's not playing. You got you got old Matt, old Matt Jones in there. But listen, Matt, this, uh, what's that Talk to for the season? Talk to me, Yeah, though. yeah. What's that for the season? So what? Matt Jones, whoever the fuck he is, he can beat us. They can beat us. I'm not saying they're going to beat us. You did. He can manage the game. The, the game to what? A disarray? Because they're not <laughs> fucking with us, bro. We're going to beat them. If you don't have Trevor Lawrence... Travis Etienne ain't showed nobody shit. He, Brian Robinson Jr., the little receiver they got, he decent. But if you don't have those story quarterback out listen, here and you on the road hey, this to an eight and one but team, this is the game. What the fuck? Bro? This is the game that'll fuck you. How? Listen. How? The dog just threw five picks last week and he we did. won. He, I, I five that. of them. I understand that. How many points is that? I understand that. Well, 28? Fucking what? I understand what you're saying. I understand where you. I understand where you. I understand where you coming from. Come on, from. man. They can't fuck with so us, how bro. Much, how much is the Lions minus three? Minus three. That was so. Listen, I'm just going on what I told That's not even worth even betting. Lions minus three. They got a minus three and a half. Minus five twenty. So I'm minus two and a half. You minus might, seven twenty. You might as well take the Jaguars right plus the twenty one and a half. You will I come out better that way. But what if the Lions? 41 seven. You have to show me. Shit. I'm not I'm not gonna put it on all my sheets. That's but why would one. you take a team without their starting quarterback with a losing record to come here and cover a spread? I'm not giving no motherfucking body no motherfucking 14 points. I don't give a damn what you talking about. So you would take 21 and a half well, points what? and they get their ass blew out guess the water. What? Guess what you do? Stay away from the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. exactly. you know, we was talking about Green Bay hey, anyway. You hey, brought me back. Hey, that, you and hey, Dog. I gotta let y'all that, know. That Trevor Lawrence play ain't play. playing. They coming to the fucking east side. We you know think that. we finna play with their weak ass? 
Come on, man. man. That, that without without your starting mark. quarterback, what the fuck do y'all got to offer? Y'all don't even got y'all main motherfucker that y'all need that can duck the offense that for y'all to actually put up points. Y'all using a backup. Last week, who did they use? Did they use a backup last week? Let me see. And if they did, what'd he do? Oh. The Jaguars. Did the Jaguars end up winning? I don't know. They no, ended up winning. Did they end up, they end lost. up winning? It was 12 to 7. Um, they played the that Vikings. But guess what? Who played? But just Mac Jones. What'd he do? 12 to 7 to who though? T they played the Vikings. But did you, did you see how he managed the game? Anything. Yeah. Did you see how he managed so the listen, game? So Man, listen. it's the fucking game. So listen. So oh, listen. I got 21, Matt 22 Jones points. ended the game. The Vikings had, the Vikings beat the Jaguars 12 to 7. Mac Jones finished the game. 14 completions, 22 attempts, 111 passing yards, zero touchdowns. And no, two he do that shit. Wait, wait, wait. He that, he'll get blue fuck out. Say that again. Say that, say that last thing again. Zero <laughs> touchdowns and two <laughs> interceptions. And what the fuck you think they finna do with us? And you put your head, I, you, I wouldn't take this nigga with 28 points. <laughs> the fuck is you talking about? We gonna beat the fuck out of them, dog. Matt Jones. Is this the nigga from Alabama? Matt Jones. <laughs> is this the same quarterback? <laughs> it, it, just tell me that. It, all right, let's is, see. Is this the quarterback from Alabama? Yes, the University of yeah, Alabama. All right. Yeah, all right. I, the East Side Lions minus 28 and a half. <laughs> Fuck Mac Jones. Fuck the Jaguars. Excuse my language, y'all. I, I just I don't like when they go against us like that. Because they got us fucked up. <laughs> you hear me? Matt Jones. Uh, I wouldn't take them. He managed the game. Motherfucker ain't managed shit. Two picks, no touchdowns, 14 for 20. Come on, man. We we greatness, dog. We all going east side lines, man. Everybody, right. I'm Everybody not going for the line. I'm not going for the line. Y'all taking all the motherfuckers' creation, bro. Like, we can't like, fuck them like boys up. This shit, yeah. I, I'm just not 14 giving, points. So we still Listen, throwing slippers of doubt. I'm just not giving easy. nobody 14 points. Still you ain't got slippers of doubt. But in this one, you got to. Because we finna fuck them up, period, man. They can't. All right, let's get to the next one. Let's keep Please, rolling. dude, tell me, because I'm rolling. ready to go all you, night you about call this. Them. That's don't, your part. Don't you ever, yeah. we gotta get to the next game. Yeah. Ever yeah. bring scare yeah. business to yeah. me. We gotta get to the next game, man. Me. Back to Green Bay and Chicago. Green Bay minus five and a half. I think Green Bay is gonna cover this spread. Chicago ain't worth shit. I, Caleb Williams ain't hit no nothing as of late, and just he looked lost. Green Bay is a well-oiled machine right now. Aaron Jones, I mean, not Aaron Jones, Josh Jacobs, he going to get you what you're looking for against the Chicago uh, Bears. I also like uh, DeAndre Swift to give you 60 rushing yards. Have at it. I think, yeah, I think the Packers will be more, more motivated to kind of win this one, being that it's a divisional game and they just lost to us. So they definitely looking to, like, put the beats on the Bears just to kind of Stamp themselves as in a fight for that second spot right. in the division because the Vikings got a hold of it right now. Everybody know the Lions number one, but the the Packers do want to kind of play like you know Grinch for the um for the for the uh Vikings and kind of take that second spot away because right. I don't see anybody challenging Detroit for the first spot in the NFC North. But you know um the Packers and the Vikings is going to be interesting to watch throughout the season because that's a potential like. Maybe wild card spot that could or could not come or go for you know you right the team you right and Chicago was in the hunt until just as of recent so, last week they yeah. killed my parlay I had a five leg parlay everything right what is Chicago uh Bears. what 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 they work with that four and six Chicago Chicago is like four and five I believe four and five and they four yeah. four and one at the spread mm -hmm. yeah, that's is grass that's what Ch I'm Chicago saying. listen Chicago showed me last week when they went in there and lost the lost that game last week who the fuck did to the fucking Patriots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm done with them. Yeah. They, they, they don't never go on none of my betting sheets. Mm -hmm. They smoke my boots last week. I had a five leg They don't never go on none of my betting sheets. Everything right on there, except for the Chicago Bears, man. Yeah, Bears, yeah. So I gave y'all uh, two good Russian props in that game. Uh, DeAndre Swift over 60 <laughs> yards or to get 60 yards. Josh Jacobs to get 60 yards. And you can take the Green Bay Packers minus the five and a half. Is it any spread or any game that y'all heard so far that you like that's your best pick this week? The Lions for me. I would say that's an easy pick to say, yeah, for sure. The Lions. The Lions what? The Lions 
whatever money line no I, we not money lining i'm talking about a, a team to cover the spread the team to cover the spread it's gotta be worth the value because if you take the lions so minus like the other game we were talking about before this was it the Minnesota or what was the other one after the Minnesota game? I'm taking the game. I'm taking. I'm taking. I'm taking the Packers game. You taking the, pre, the Packers game? Me, minus I'm covering. Come, come, I'm taking. I'm taking a minus five. I'm taking a minus five. I'm not giving nobody five and a half. So what game would you take that would cover the spread? Fine I, I just probably, told you. That's it's, it's not the spread though, because the value gonna change if you just uh, adjust it. I'm saying a straight minus one ten bet. Well, what, what, what were they giving them? Five and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that bet. What's what's, what's Green the, Bay? Think Green Bay. What's the numbers on the on the Browns and Saints games? What they? What What you mean as far as a money line or what the spread? Yeah, and, um, the not, spread is minus one towards the Browns. It's minus one hundred five. That yeah, we see, that's the see. that's the one that I would take. I would probably take the Browns with the points. You know, it's no, I mean? it's no points. It's just it's minus one for the Browns. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would. It, that's your anything, spread. Yeah, that that's they my, gonna that's cover the that. They gonna cover that. Yeah. And I got them. What's the next game though? You know what I'm saying. You. So to keep it simple and 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 make it easy on me, yeah, I would take the Browns like that. I got you. Let's get to the next game. Uh, the next game, you the Las Vegas Raiders, they taking on the Miami Dolphins in Miami. The spread is minus seven and a half. The total is forty four. What you think? Who are they giving? Who who is minus? The minus seven and a half. The Miami Dolphins. I don't like that game yeah. either. I, I don't like that. We have two, the Miami two, Dolphins. That's a janky. Yeah, yeah. Two it ain't janky. Teams. It's just that the two you already know. I'm going two, with the Raiders. Two, two, yeah, two of you know what I'm saying? Two hasn't been looking that good. Like, it's, to I, say I, minus I just, seven I and a half, Monday yeah. Night. yeah. I just watched somebody night. He ain't look like shit. The, 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 the Raiders, Raiders are, are, shit. Are, yeah. They the go, Raiders, they, they still got come yeah. On, yeah. yeah. The Raiders sit the Raiders. at two and seven on the season, and the Dolphins sit at three and six on the season. Right. So both of these teams are like scraping in bottom, the mud. Bottom yeah. tier. Yeah, they rolling in the mud right now. So like whoever you take, like you said, I'm still away from that shit. I would say that for yeah, sure. Yeah. That but shit. I would, whoever you, I would take whichever team you wanted with the points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's, because it's, you got us to give us eight points. I was yeah. Yeah. Gardner Minshew and the uh, Raiders, yeah. they not gonna they lay down. Push over. Exactly. They and even if exactly. they using O'Connell or O'Donnell, exactly. they not gonna lay down. They not gonna lay down. They no push -ups. Ups. Period. They rolling in the mud. So yeah, AJ Brown fun. touchdown. So I would take the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. Plus the seven and a half in this game, I would take Gardner Minshew if he's the starting quarterback to give me two hundred passing yards. I also like Gardner Minshew to throw two uh, passing touchdowns. That's a sleeper right there. You know what? And in fact, this is my dog head of the week. I'm taking the Raiders. I'm taking mm. the Raiders money line plus two seventy six. Mm. I think the Raiders gonna beat the uh, Dolphins. That minus seven and a half is just a mystery. It's like y'all ain't beat nobody by seven and a half, let alone for y'all to be. You know what I'm saying? Having to get eight points to win the game. No, hell no. So yeah, I'm going with the Raiders yeah, on the win. I don't see them beating nine. I don't see them beating them by eight, eight points either. You know, I just said they ain't show me nothing. They, they, they ain't showed nothing, man. How many pass attempts he got? He probably got about 21 or 23 of them. Uh, yeah, he man. throwing the shit out that bitch. Yeah, he, he got a lot. I've yeah. been seeing him pass more often than what he need to be doing. Huh? What? You went and took him under. Who? Under <laughs> pass attempts? Yeah, pass <laughs> attempts? Yeah. Yeah. Why would it when he a running? I mean, he a quarterback. What he, he got? He, he, got, he got 22 season. right now. Yeah. Because A.J. Brown have been hurt, bro. Yeah, no. It's, yeah, it's, it's, the last it's five games, and, 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 he, had, he ain't had 20, minutes, what, 24 but, at the but most. But they've been hurt. So he has 22 he right now. He you think he's going to have? What he, five more in in? He about to get a deep out. Get the deal yeah, he got a whole quarter. It's a whole quarter and some. AJ Brown and AJ Brown and uh Devontae Smith has not really played. It ain't season all together. See, Y'all have to have faith. These brothers don't have no faith. I do. Yeah, yeah, you do. definitely. You you <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, shit over. Shit <laughs> over with. I, I just been, they not gonna run the ball the rest of the game. Listen, I swear, I swear. This is the rule. Ball. This is the rule number one. Why well, I don't like giving out my bets. <laughs> the motherfucker get the. Putting salt, don't let the shit manifest. You know what? Let it yeah, manifest. Let me shut the fuck let up. Let it manifest. Let me why, why, up? Why, why, why down the hit? bets? Hey. If the shit hit, you. It hit. Oh, oh hell, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> what side of this shit you on? <laughs> like, <laughs> did you rock it with this shit or What's not? Like, All that on the fist ass shit. What we with the motherfuckers like? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. One yard lost. 
Man, why the fuck you? What the this fuck? This nigga don't know what he talking about. This nigga you be talking about. This nigga be talking about the bull. Shit is with right. my picks or just give them out. Like don't don't. I don't want a response from my picks. Hey, if you use like, it, you use hey, it. If, if you didn't, hey, look, please don't hey, torture me. Hey, Cause I got that shit here. If I was gonna lose shit, I could have just said the shit myself. <laughs> oh, I could have guessed that shit. Oh, what the God. fuck? Right. Listen, you, 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 and I won. And they hit him. No, I, 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 I ain't dressed up no, no way, man. Look, the backlash I got. The, shit, I'm, the I'm conversation I got to on about you. what motherfuckers like. Hey, look. Well, you got to like, like, yeah, yeah, like, stay there. Stay you can't get there. discouraged. Stay motherfuckers like, stay no, nigga. Hey, you feel me? Hey, what they got to know is. Hey, this America, man. What they got to know is, no cap. He sent us to bed. Not even two minutes later, they changed the odds. By yard, by yard, two minutes, and, and he had twenty. But what I tell you, do, yards that's, instead of twenty seven. But it's like, did it? It's not my fault. Like, hey, 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 like, no, but listen though, that is an important Fuck point that. right there that I've been learning about. You know how I always try you to analyze the why the bet didn't work out, and I'm like, oh, it's because, you, because uh, they knew this, uh, yeah, uh, or they knew you that. You moving fast? I know what it is. Is that that's why the odds always go up and down? Why they change? It's because they, they, they two, minimize the day losses yeah, by like putting it the same way as you bet multiple oh, yeah. slips oh, yeah. to maximize so, your odds. Yeah. Yeah. They no, maximize no, their no, odds or minimize their chances of losing by changing the shit by half a point, a point, and, or so whatever. Money, and that's why it is important to manage your bankroll. Yeah, because yeah. Because if you don't, yeah, it'll yeah. frustrate you. It'll frustrate you because if you're trying to manage your bankroll or others' bankroll, it's like. We need all the faith we can get. We don't need no bullshit. Because <laughs> if you come with bullshit, we not winning. It's only frustrating listen, everybody. Listen, I'm right. using their real money trying to make listen. money. You got to stand in there. Listen. Rock with it. When we lose, we lose. But when we win, oh, shit. Be on the lookout I, I for the it. Tory B Sports like, book, too, I'm already man. Knowing, just Tory B Sports, man. We finna start locking in, in our man. own <laughs> eyes, man. Tap in with the now, listen, Tory B Sports book. Subscribe come to on the channel, man. Yeah, Tory B Sports, man. Sign up. Like, lock hey, in with the, the lock in, man. If you deposit a hundred dollars, you get a free fifty dollar bet. You know I, I said on Facebook today that anybody that spent some money with me off of Facebook, or if you uh just spend money with me in general, I'm gonna give your money back before at least Christmas. I said Thanksgiving, I'm gonna double your money. You know what I'm saying? So right. if, if you spend fifty dollars with me, you can expect a hundred dollars back. Christmas. If you spend three, four hundred dollars with me, then you got you a nice little present coming. And right. that's just coming out of the kindness of my heart. Because like I was saying earlier on Facebook, I know this ain't got nothing to do with the football, but I was telling them, it's a lot of people out here selling picks and all that shit, but I ain't seen one person give away as many free winning parlays as me for free. You understand? For free. All you have to do is be on my Facebook. And my question. You know what I'm saying? Or not even just be my friend, but check my story. I get this shit away all this week. I Every gave day. away free money. Listen, Every day. Question, you know what I'm saying? Every question, day. You see how he just said that? Has anybody? Oh, I'm just saying. He gave. All, I watch. I watched him give my bets. I didn't watch him give out fifty dollar bet. You win a thousand. Has anybody even asked? What's your cash out? Let me send you forty dollars. Let me. I want to send you twenty five. Exactly. Thank you. Tap I appreciate in. you for the bet. Tap so in. you can't never. The bets is the bets he's been giving away is free. And it been some hit. A lot of people that hit. And, 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 and what I've been hit, a lot of hit. And I appreciate the people that don't say nothing more. Because at least you're not coming with your negative energy. If you a spectator, just spectate. If you a gambler and you putting that money in, you don't got to give me shit. You just keep winning nothing. and keep doing what you're doing. Because obviously, I have three, four hundred people see my story. I'm like, oh, okay. So I know other people are winning money. You don't always have to say nothing to me. I ain't tripping about you saying nothing to me. It's the people that's coming with the negativity. You see us win three days in a row, and today you finally tired us being a spectator, and you didn't got ten dollars on the shit, and we don't win, <laughs> and now you want to talk crazy. It's like, bro, what the fuck? I I never seen nobody. I see everybody. It's a price tag behind all these picks. Everybody. I'm the only person that I have seen honestly. Like, and I'm not saying it to be stand out. No, I'm just telling you this shit is genuine and sincere that I'm doing. You talking about you? Baby, that's it. You talking about you spending your real money? To win some real money, and that's it. We're gonna get back to the football. Like I just told him, if you've been following me for the last what 10 winters, week 10, you've been giving out good picks. I've been giving out hella picks, bro. You want some money, you ain't gonna tell me that you didn't win no yeah. money. And I ain't but tripping I, it if they say it or not. Like you know what I mean? 
I don't want nothing yeah, from nobody. That, I ain't that, some that's shit. the point of me but doing it. But you don't be like, damn, Bill, I have been listening to you on the podcast. You done gave out some fire shit, nigga. One way you gave out all of the correct, everything. If you follow, if you've been following that's me, it. I don't want shit. So when motherfuckers start talking shit, that's when you bring that yeah, up. Yeah, but my you know what I mean? you know, you don't let nobody discredit you because it's a lot of back to I listen, these people that been my friends for years, certain people. Look. And I know how they back. To, I know how they talk because they didn't talk about the same people they telling about me mm -hmm. to them. You feel me? The same. I I know. I don't let that shit get to me, man. You mm -hmm. know why? Because I'm doing this out of the bottom of my heart. The gen. You know what I'm saying? The kind of it ain't. I don't. You don't got to give me shit. I just told a, a young lady yesterday. She like. I just got two hundred and fifty three dollars. I'm gonna bless you if we hit. You don't got to give me nothing. I just want to see you win. Well, look at this. You feel me? Shouts out to you, baby. Listen, the past couple of weeks, I've been watching the podcast. I've been writing shit down, placing my own bets. We are at least at the very bare minimum 65% rate on our bets. If you take Accuracy. time and watch the whole Accuracy. fucking podcast. Yeah. Last Accuracy. week, I was moving so fast. The bet he sent me, I had a bet with the quarterback to get over. Then I had Herbert on the hover for a touchdown and over his yards, and I didn't put it in. That was a bad ass three-leg parlay, and we said it on the parlay. This is a three-leg parlay yeah. for the first game. Then none of us put it in. Watch the podcast. Take your notes. Bet your money. Exactly. And like he's telling me, don't make no long-ass legs, especially with this football. It's, all, it's, 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 all about, it's all about calm down and slow down. That's right, yeah. fine time. If you calm down and slow down, just take your time. Like me, I like to get up. I wake up. I got my bets already. I got them in my mind. No. Get your ass up at 9 30, nigga, and write your shit down mm -hmm. and, and take your time and put your shit in. Mm -hmm. Like he said, you fuck around. You don't wanna, you don't wanna been hit four parlays. And you're like, this nigga didn't get his yards. You got this nigga on all four of them bitches. Mm -hmm. and you be the like, only how the fuck I get him? I didn't even know. Exactly. Because you ain't right calming right down, and you ain't slowing I down. I have too. So so and look, go ahead. just tell him like. When we tell everybody to calm down, slow down bankroll management, we ain't got it all the way together yet. Neither. We is working on bankroll management. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. Every, 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 day. every day. Don't yeah, think yeah. we just automatically there. No, we be fucking up too. And that's the I, purpose. I have my days. Yeah, like that's that. the ahead. purpose of the podcast, boys, though, is that you are here to witness the growth in real time. You know, you are a part of the progression. Thanks. So as you see us, we learning with you. You learning with us. Most the definitely. shit that we go through, the struggles that we rock with, you rocking with them as long as you with us, shit. You gonna see it in real time, shit. Everything we say don't be right. Some shit don't hit. Yeah. We take them L's. We stand in there. Yeah. And we come back week for week for week. Right. And if you with us, though, our victories are your victories. The same way as your <laughs> losses are our losses. You feel me? It's all the same. It's different. It's all the same, man. Just like different in. strategies to it's, this shit, man. And that's boys. more important than anything is having your strategy. I was just asking it, these fellas before the podcast started tonight. When we talking about just certain incidents of us betting it and we just being greedy, I'm asking them, what you expecting to win? Mm -hmm. You have to know what the fuck you expecting to win. If you putting a hundred dollars on here, but you got nine parlays, what was you expecting to win? Mm -hmm. I just want to know, like, because you could have made that way better than I was nine always, parlays. You understand what I'm saying? I make was, it make sense to yourself. I was always taught, like, at the casino. They got too much money. You can't beat them out of all their money. Get what you can get and get the fuck out of there. And see, even then, certain people yeah. go in there with a hundred dollars and make two and still be in there six hours and leave out with 30 cents. 30 mm -hmm. like, or nothing. Make your time is money as well. So if I go in here with a hundred dollars to gamble and I actually make two hundred dollars, I need to be heading towards the door. Door right towards door. You, you, Period. you doubled your money. Period. Uh, anyway, let, uh, oh, Period. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. If you can get on here at Sports Bear every day and you can make you a hundred dollars, where I mean, it's, you got jobs that pay you, but what this is the most easiest. Yeah, you can get on here and bet you a hundred dollars and win a hundred dollars everywhere. It's like a fucking paycheck exactly. every week. Mm -hmm. And if you if you able to manage money a little bit better than a hundred dollars, you can set rent? yourself on the track to become a hundred thousand there in a year. It costs two seventy five a day. What is it? Two seventy nine. It's, it's, it's two seventy four a day. Eighty three hundred dollars. Something. Eighty three hundred and some change a month. And, and like 1900 a week if i'm mistaken so with that being said if you set that goal for yourself then you will be a little bit better off at what you shooting at like you know me. what i'm saying like, I'm, you I'm gotta say, have something to shoot at not I'm just say, i'm gonna say like me i talk shit, but my friend listen 
Me, I bet hundreds of dollars. I talk shit. My friends are going there. They'll bet $10. They'll bet $25. But they'll bet that to win five, six hundred. I'll take my dumb ass in there and do a, a motherfucker a $200 parlay. It might be, it might, listen, it don't got to be that many legs. <laughs> but what's it, look, if I lose, guess what? I'm mad about my 200 they, they, they be sitting around, oh, good fuck, I don't even bet it $10, $25. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. It sometimes, yeah, okay, I got the money to do it, but sometimes, damn, I ain't want. I I really didn't want to lose that two hundred. I swear, not like but that. I, not like this. Not like this. Bet on a motherfucking football game. I I got exactly. better shit. I could have been doing with my money. Like, exactly. That's called bankroll management, man. Been, like I used to be, like I still be betting five, ten, five, ten. But in the past couple weeks, I done bust my cherry. I done bet fifty. I done bet a hundred. Yeah. Like twenty twenty five was used to be the most. Like Sunday, I put a hundred on something. Yeah. And I put that's cool. I've been taking some, like you say, when you get that win. For the when you hit that hundred, that, you catch two parlays in one day. That watch I tell you. Yeah. You back up, and then it's like, well, listen, as long as you can fight, what do you say on Friday? You got to live. I just to listen, that's listen. It. I just sat there the and then put all my parlays is hundred dollar plus. I just sit there and won. Oh shit, they go eight hundred. Shit, I done won seven hundred on this one. Shit, they go another fifteen. By the end of the day, nigga, I'm up thirty five, four thousand. Yeah, but it don't always happen like that. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah, don't ever get it fucked so up. So the key be you like I was win. telling you them, win. you can win, you can win a certain day. You shout said, out, shout out to my baby Yo too. That's on here. The number uh, one, he's a he, 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 he said yo, yo, the reason y'all in here talking that shit like about hey, the no, lions like no, that. Listen. Y'all let yo energy shout get out to, to y'all, man. He didn't get to y'all. Shout out to the Y'all to let yo come in here and tell us take take Jacksonville plus twenty one and all that shit. All that what the shit. fuck <laughs> with, with the second string quarterback? Yo, 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 you done fuck these boys up hey, here. Yo. You got them boys thinking that the Jacksonville Jaguars gonna win this week. I bet you don't take it. You got to come back and defend yourself, yo. You, you got he, to. We need you. He, most definitely, he got to come defend I himself. Because he back thought this week. that Houston has. Right, because the Lions ain't losing. That's what I, 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 I'm trying to tell him. When he said that, remember I said to him at that moment, he like, yeah, I always bet a guy. Every he was, time he I was talking big shit on Facebook. Every time UFC. I get, he said, every time well, I get, I bet against the Lions. I said, yeah, he was going to say, I said, you've been wrong a lot this year. You said, because you with your Vallejo boys. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all over here, man. man. Hey, you've been wrong a lot this year. That's all. You you bet listen, against the Lions. Listen. You're wrong. I'm gonna say like this. The Lions, listen, they taught me a lesson that year. Them bitches were what one and seven. Yeah, them bitches came and won the last seven games. Yeah, yeah. I'm they talking did. about they fuck listen. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody listen, still talking about I'm that. talking about listen. I'm betting hundreds and two hundreds. Listen, five hundreds. Spade in their ass. Listen, three game parlays, all the games win. Get to them bitches. Every week. Bro, like, man, would you just stop, bro? Just go with them. Let's go with the bitches. The week you go with them. They take one. They lose. Came back the last game of the year. Play Aaron Rodgers. Oh, they beat Aaron Rodgers to get to the playoffs. They beat Aaron Lambo. I lost fifteen hundred dollars. Nigga, smoke nigga. your fucking boots. I, I know you was on one game. You I deserve it. I know you. But going cussing. against us? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, y'all, we won. Yeah, the fuck wrong no, with you? <laughs> Stop going against the home team. Yeah, Anytime you go against the game, no you're supposed to get your brain. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get your brain, nigga. Your you brain. Brain. What's the next game, T.O.? Uh, we yeah, went to yeah. Miami and all that. Okay, the next game, the L.A. Ray, the L.A. Rams. Taking on the New England Patriots in New England. The spread is minus four and a half towards the Rams. The total is 43. I'm taking the Rams and I'm moving it down to minus two. Not listen to all my betters once again. You cannot score four points in football. Yeah. I'm never giving nobody four points. Hey, motherfucker Terry Monica got me jumping. If you listen, listen, hey. listen, <laughs> listen hey, look, and if you're going, if you're going to take the half, <laughs> listen, you're going to take the half. <laughs> talking about. You take the yeah, half. You don't get a half to nobody else. I'm, I'm ready for the next adventure. So what you shit. you? I think that the Rams they should win this game, man. The way that the New England Patriots just played, you can't trade. Uh, tra uh, you can't count Drake May out. Drake What's May up, over on? rushing is never a bad pick. I like him to go over his rushing yards, and I also like New England to cover this spread. I'm doing this podcast um, right now. I think that the Rams will cover, you know, not cover, but I think they will win on the we'll money line you. side. But with those points, give me the New England Patriots with the four and a half points. Also, give me um, Matt Stafford to throw over 225 yards. I also like uh, Stevenson to get 60 rushing yards. You say you're taking who? Over 25 rushing yards. 
You take it, the Patriots. Plus the points. Mm. Now, see, I've been letting y'all talk y'all shit about y'all picks every week. But if you really want to do some real research, go check your mans out. Because mm. I talk that shit on this bitch. Me mm. too. You hear me? <laughs> if you want to go look at my underdog <laughs> picks, <laughs> I talk that shit. Me. So, I'm the nigga that's saying the so, Cardinals money line. So, I'm the nigga that's saying Pittsburgh wait, 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 money line. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck is wrong with you? Who, the Cardinals. I, you definitely was not fucking with no who Cardinals. Said the Cardinals? Right? We did. We about to tell you. Me. Ain't y'all say no motherfucking bird. That game. shit sounded like no, no, real no, no, game. You popping your Remember, shit. I, 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 hey, listen, stop listen it. man. Listen, I'm talking about y'all. One, y'all one week, Carter. Listen, y'all, man, y'all had it one week. Yeah. I've been saying this shit week after week after week. You feel me? I'm I'm the nigga that's producing real winners. Get the fuck y'all out gotta of show me some get real winners. Y'all can here. sit here and say the, all that shit. Hey, so, so when you talking to <laughs> real motherfucking <laughs> smackers, so be, your baby pop your smackers. Listen, so listen, real smackers. So listen, so listen, so listen, so listen, so listen yeah. can we start so next bad. week? Can we as as we giving our picks? Can you start putting our records under our names? Most definitely. Like, like, well, that, we could have been doing that. You hear them do? So you hear what they ask you to do? Putting our records. Like the picks that we calling out. Right. This is what Trump I mean when I be say like, you get real. to see the progress. Our records in our name. <laughs> That's the smartest shit ever because, goddammit, we need to keep track of who been we hit do. these motherfuckers. We do. We already know who got the fire I'm record. Talking, I'm I'm fuck we already know who, we who know. dropping John Blaze. Because I don't know what my record would be at all, but I really feel like I'm ahead of somebody. I might not be ahead of everybody, all I but I know I'm I'm kind of accurate. Hey. I feel like all I know. If they've been following me on the Sports Betting Podcast, they been winning every mother. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, motherfucker. Hey, man. Hey, listen, first of all, we motherfuckers. This is the first time I've won money. Around. What are you talking about? Where you motherfuckers at? I excuse my language, but I want my motherfucking cut. And you've been man. following me. They you, owe been, you, you owe me. You've been getting some fire on me. Y'all got me in here sweat tonight, man. Really? I, like, like, man. Crazy. I get a what minute. Listen, tell me what I do. Yeah. I get this shit out on Thursday. I get to Sunday go in there and do the totally opposite of so what you said. What I said, I swear. And I ain't got that's, no why, that's why you be having to go back and watch, and watch the podcast the and write that shit down, listen, take your time, and make it. Man, man. man, Tory B Sports Bed. Listen, you tune you, into you, our channel, man. The fuck if you ain't got it, tune into the channel because if, if you tune into the channel and just watch it and just watch, it's week 11 game game. for it's me. Week 11. So, I, all my little knickknacks, little shit like what he just said. I said something on the podcast and then went in there on yeah, Sunday and put there. something totally different yeah, in. There. No, I, oh shit, Smallwood. I'm the person that's going to do this. I learned it's week 11. Hey, bitch, the podcast Stop stuff. doing that shit every week. Start slowing down. Take your time. Wake up in the morning. Yeah, slow there. down and look at what you like and line it up right. You don't need a lot of it. You know what I'm saying? But when you don't do those things, when you don't take your time and, and actually know what you putting together versus you know what I'm saying? You just getting that phone and you scrolling and, and you put clicking on shit and now you look up, it's a seven leg. Okay, I'm going to put 10 on this one. Now you do it again and you got the same person name but you're not knowing because you're not actually taking your time. You're just going through your phone, scrolling and looking at the shit you like. You know what I'm saying? So you have to slow down and pay attention. You don't need seven, eight parlays to make a couple hundred dollars a day. You need to give yourself two, maybe three options. That's the many slips as you need if you're trying to actually win. And you don't have to have a lot of money on each one of them. You can start with $5 a piece, $10 a piece, $25, whatever you're comfortable with. But every day you are able to bet because you are managing your bankroll. That's the whole key to this shit. Manage your bankroll. That's all I'm trying to get y'all to understand is manage your bankroll. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all once again, don't want to get to, listen, NCAA football is cool. It's cool. It's cool to bet. <laughs> Like you do not want to not make it to Sunday. I swear. I did it. I did I it. I swear. The week I didn't make it, every fucking pick I gave gave out fucking one. I wanted to fucking cry. Yeah. You don't want to like not make it to Sunday. I mean, I ain't had shit to bet with on Sunday. And that, and that come from not I, managing I, your bankroll. Listen, I could have put a $5 bet in with all the teams. And I, probably, I still would have been happy at the end of the day. I didn't even have, I didn't have shit. I'm talking about nothing to bet with on Sunday. Exactly. And that's just how it be. Because you got to manage your bankroll, man. You got to manage you gotta your bankroll. You got to manage your bankroll. You even if you, know wait, even, even, if, even if you wake up and be like, you know what, fuck. Is this Jalen Hurst? touchdown that bitch was going to score. That's he, another one. He rushed for it. Bro, he stays uh, But he scored the first time. He's been scoring for the last four weeks. Man, they have like Nobody has scored but him. 
Oh, like, like two yeah, field goals. Two yeah. field goals. Mm. What, that, that's why I always pick when they get and in the red zone. Miss nobody don't score goals. Goals. They're going to push yeah. touch, bro. They did miss two field yeah. goals. All right, so in, in the next game, we'll be, we still doing Rams and Patriots. If y'all got anything else y'all want to add. Um, I, Matthew Stafford, two touchdowns for sure. Matthew Stafford, two touchdowns? Yeah, Rams. I'm going Rams. You feel me? Nakua over his yards, man. Nakua. I'm, take, I'm taking, uh, I'm taking, pull Nakua, get over his yards, and I'm taking uh, the L.A. Rams to win minus two. Okay. Okay. That's, that, that, that's, that, that's a two-game parlay for yes, y'all yes, for the Rams game, man. The next game, the Atlanta Falcons, they taking on the Denver Broncos in Denver. The spread is minus two and a half. The total is 44. What the fuck wrong with this the spread kid? is going towards the Denver uh, Broncos. He missed again? Oh, he fired. Well, he threw. Yeah, he Good. fired. He didn't miss too many. And you missed an extra point, nigga. That was, that's from nowhere. That's a chip. Now they go out kick a field yeah. goal. They win the game. Yeah. That's a what y'all like on the Lions? And, uh, damn, this my $50 slip, too. He can't throw for 28. He got 26 already. Who that? Jalen Hurts. It's over, yeah. Yeah, he might have been crushed us on that it's one. It's a whole fourth quarter to play. Oh, yeah. I swear to he hope. I hope not. You gonna look at me like, like that. yeah, like bitch. It's fucking, <laughs> it's fucking yeah, 26. Like, yeah, like, no. It's 22. He like. I was just being, I was just being realistic. That's hey, what I, hey, I want us to nigga stay on some bullshit though. <laughs> I was just being realistic. Like, hey, when I say, is nobody ooh, in the sports ooh, world? Yeah. Harder on me than this, this man right here. Right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning. Like, he be on me, dog. I'm like, all the way. Hey, look, I told him the other day. He tested me. Listen, he asked me, like, listen. what you put on the slip? Listen. I, I pause. I'm like, 500. I'm talking about, listen. he like, mm. <laughs> yeah, like, listen, listen. <laughs> that's what we listen, that's how He had like. already seen the shit, though. Yeah. So I, I tell him later, though, I say, I saw it afterwards. <laughs> listen, I, I say, I ain't put 500 yeah. on. He gonna say, I know. <laughs> I went on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, baby, I seen it. I'm like, why did you see? Why did you even looking at this? Look yeah. at the pics. Well, listen, yeah, now he like, look at the. He I like, want to no, know. I want to know how what much are you doing. You see, <laughs> the funny I shit about how much you believe listen, in that actually, shit. Listen, listen, that's, 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 that's why. That's why. Up, that's why. Really? I want to know really? how much really? you believe in this shit. Yeah. You can't follow me because I'm the nigga that's gonna do that. I, I, I tell you, listen, it's if I showed you my shit right now, he be like, Bill, you done lost your motherfucking man. I'm talking about right, two feet. Hold up, but hold time. Hold on. You really believe in this shit. But listen, because, like what I just say, when that two leg pop, that's 1500. That's all you the mean. other 250, no, listen, because when I pop that, see, I don't know how to stop. Listen, I'm going back in there. We, well, <laughs> early. I fuck that 1500 I won. I'm going back in there. I'm going another 500 like that. Listen, because I'm used to betting like that. I got to think like that. I didn't want to like basketball. Yeah. Playoffs. I just sat there, nigga, one day, nigga, that won $4,500. Nigga, I done put some, I'm like, shit, I done won $4,500 within two days. It ain't funny. It's you fucked gave up. it back. Got no bankroll management. Yeah, you got to see. Listen, got no yeah, bankroll got management. Listen, you got to take that there. shit off shit, there. Man. Man. Let me go. Listen, but, but now, listen. What you, but now, what you trying to win, though? That's what I be saying. I'm trying to go for, listen. I be having my man set on the goal too. I be at, I might be at seven. I might be at sixty five hundred. Hey, I want ten five. That's how. I that's that's like, I need ten five. Like when the old heads action when you smoke weed. I been looking up. I was trying to get to two hundred. I didn't make it to when the <laughs> when the old heads look when the old heads see you smoke three four blunts in bro, a row. Bro, how high are you trying to bro, get? Listen. Like where you trying to go? Where bro, you listen. trying to go? Yeah, yeah. Like, gallon, you know what I'm How high are you listen. trying to get? I, I can I know I got a gallon pile. I gamble, so I'll give fuck. If I go over here, if I screenshot, my, bro, if I screenshot how much money I didn't gamble, bro, I'd be like, bro, he's like, my man, where the fuck you get all this money from? I didn't know I had nigga. Like, said it's nigga, just popped up. Yeah, yeah. Like, the first man. person ever like, to openly admit that, like, I know I got to gamble. Listen, oh, no, he, he, oh, yeah. You better be lucky he ain't showed up yet. Just because he can't be Oh, he going to tell you. This shit can't help Oh, he going to tell you. I'm talking about from the sports betting to the lottery. Man, I'm talking but about, to, I, I'm talking yeah, about the game. Listen, man, he's me, Scott. I can't help it, man. Together. This shit, it be it's, calling it's, my it's name, calling my name, bro. I swear to God, oh my goodness, man. Shit is you crazy. a junkie, dog. Sure. You a sports bet junkie. Sure. Not even that, I just like to gamble. Me yeah. too, Bill. Yeah, me too. It gave me a rush. See, I don't have that. Three of them. I don't see it. I don't have that. I don't have that. And then the thing is, look. You need yeah. to stay off that drug. Shit is bad, y'all. To have that type of, to have that type of sensation, to have that type of addiction, 
you can't be afraid to lose. You got to be good at taking Most losses. Definitely. Yeah, but you yeah. Know, I'm, I, hate, lost, I, I can't. Take. I can't take it. Hey, be willing to take. I can't so look, nah, look, I, I was just telling. I just showed me in the I don't like Listen at this. This ain't. This ain't NFL. This basketball. This last night. This five dollars for twelve hundred and seventy-seven dollars. I got France Wagner two threes, green light. KCP two threes, green light. J uh Brown, Jaden Brown, Jalen Brown from two threes, mm, green light. Derek White three threes, green light. Jaden Williams from the Thunder, two threes, green light. Yeah. Uh Donovan Mitchell, two three threes, green light. Cat Williams. I mean, I keep saying that shit. Cat Anthony. Cat no, Carl Anthony, Anthony Town. Yeah. Two threes. Green light. OG Ananobi. OG. Two threes. Green light. Trey Murphy. Three threes. He had two. And, 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 and out of all the other, everything else you said was respectable until you said. Like what was the at all them fucking names? You just named seven, eight people. Yeah. What would would it have killed you to take him off of your shit? The thing was this. And then you got him for three threes. So so this is why I don't make all those licks. I just took the phone. I just went through the teams and shit that people that I like to hit threes. That was it. For five dollars. So when you had those kind of days, it kind of it kind of fuck with you because you like damn. The, the thing would make it fuck with you is because when you really need the money. It's first catch, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when you really need that money, it's like, damn, yeah, I'm depending on yeah, that. Yeah, but know certain what I mean? shit, you can tell, like, these you might be more fifth. solid than this. So if you know Trey That's Murphy, the then you know. I get it. But like I said. Three threes and he had two? Um, it's not It's not like he had. But he had like he didn't have nothing. You understand? I get it, yeah. So it's was like, and he shot. I, I, I five started to so take like, him off. Too. He ain't been doing. It. That's my dog. I'm always picking, but he ain't been doing. But you, you need him to score. It is because if you can you take him to score, he he go. He go. He go. Jalen Williams to hit two threes. Dub gonna hit them bitch. Stop it. Dub gonna. That's hit not. That's not for sure. Derek Dub White last night. Three threes. He had at the end of the game. I wouldn't say three. You understand what I'm saying? It's not. None of it. None of it is like. Oh, this a this guarantee. It's all fucking yeah. a guess. Yeah, it's so all I'm a not guess. gonna say I got five hundred on this nine. It's all a gamble. And I, 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 I just needed it. No, fuck. So what, five dollars. So five dollars. Five dollars. We, we need to get together. And go to yeah. one of these games too, man. One, 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 one of the Stones games. We don't the pistol games. Yeah, most of the things ain't shit. But ten, fifteen dollars. I'm with it. Yeah, most of the games, man. I'm with that for sure. Uh, hey, yeah, come on. Let's get that shit. We can do the podcast on the way to that bitch. Yeah, hey, Atlanta and Denver. Whoa. Atlanta Falcons of Denver. I got me about to. That's some good shit. Yeah. Atlanta Falcons of Denver. I'm taking Atlanta, man. Watch out. You, 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 I'm you taking suck Atlanta. Suck a tash, I'm, huh? take, I'm taking Atlanta. Atlanta minus two and a, I mean plus two and a half. I'm, t- I'm definitely taking it. I'm taking you the money. You money, money the that's your dog head of the week. Yeah, that's my dog head of the week. I'm taking Atlanta. Bro, who you taking in this? Podcast boys. I'm taking Atlanta. Money line. For sure. They coming and off that I'm loss. Taking, um, I'm taking Kirk Cousins to throw three touchdowns. Got you. He gonna slay that thing. Got you. Uh, Atlanta Falcons. I like I in the lose. Atlanta Falcons game. Where am I at? Okay, keep, keep I like up. the Falcons money line, and I like Kirk Cousins to go under his passing yards. Fontaine, you like something in this one? You said Falcons. I'm taking the Falcons. Okay, and I'm taking the money line. They plus two. How much the money line? Plus one twenty. Uh, plus one eleven. Plus one eleven. Yeah. How much? What's that? Minus one two. I'm, I'm taking the plus two. Fuck that. Plus two. I would take the plus because if that's what that, what's that was minus one team, it ain't really. Yeah, but it's really, plus money. You feel it me? is plus money. It do that make that make a, that make a big oh difference. Oh my god! Oh my yeah, god! You to get the boy. first. The next game, the Seattle oh, Seahawks they taking ass. on the San Francisco 49ers. The spread is minus six and a half towards the 49ers. Uh, the total is forty seven. What you like, Bill? For the four, you said who? 49ers and the oh, Seahawks. Wow. In uh, San Francisco, the spread minus six and a half, 49ers. I don't like that game. I'm going to take me to player props. <laughs> you don't like no game. I don't like, no, I don't. Sure. If we didn't did 10 games, he ain't like nine of them. No, yeah. I, ain't like, I ain't like about five of them. I don't like, that's like a toss up, man. I did me like that because the Seattle can beat them. Yeah. But yeah, right true. now, when you got McCaffrey back and all that, I don't like that game. Right. McCaffrey is a hard matchup for a lot of teams, man. Fact. That's like that game. No, no. I'm taking both quarterbacks over two hundred. I'm I'm a, I'm taking my fact. I'm taking Purdy over two two. I'm taking no. I'm taking uh both quarterbacks over two hundred. Yeah, I respect that. What you that. got? 
Um, I'm taking the Niners in this game only because this still the fucking Niners. Minus six and a half. Um, I'll take money line. You know I me. Mean. Minus 289. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So if you take the 49ers minus uh minus 289 and you put them with what was the other one we said? Was it Minnesota? Y'all liked it. Is DK back? Yeah, yeah, I niggas did so. like Minnesota for sure. Minnesota and and uh 49ers. That's, That's a, a good, good two leg yeah, parlay good. to drop so, some nice piece of money on it and, and try to collect some revenue. I take um I take McCaffrey to get over his receiving yards. Last week he had receiving and rushing. He yeah, went over 100. Yeah, receiving plus rushing. He did go over 100. Back, yeah, he, he went over did. 100. He had 68 receiving yards and on six catches. And then he had 13 carries for 39 yards yeah, rushing. Went out, yep. But I definitely would take, like it, like Bell said, if you wanted to, that would probably be the smarter option. Both is to package them together and put him receiving and rushing to get over his yards for oh, sure. Yeah, and both of the quarterbacks. And then, yeah. And both the, of the quarterbacks. Them quarterbacks, them quarterbacks listen. Brock Purdy had a great game last week. Too, I yeah. would say both of them over 225 because yeah. they do that shit with ease. Every he, week, he Purdy, did. listen, every week Purdy has two over 225. Last yeah. week he did 25 completions out of 36 attempts. He had 353 I, Listen, they doing this every week. Passing and two okay. touchdowns, no interceptions. So the 200 might not pay you no money, bitch. So you might you might need. So in this game. The Niners. In this game, this is a divisional game for me. I'm going to take the points always in the divisional game. Give me the Seahawks plus the six and a half, and I like Kenneth Walker to score anytime touchdown. <laughs> the next game, the Kansas City Chiefs, they take it on the Buffalo Bills. This is one of the afternoon games. The spread is minus two and a half towards the Bills. I hear you, the total was 46. Who you like in this game? The Bills game? <laughs> the Bills and uh, Chiefs. Chiefs yeah. minus well no the Bills minus two and a half. Dog got off here. They played that's he be he been waiting on this game. I don't think he out here no more. Maybe 40. Yeah. 40 was out here. He talks who the Chiefs play. The Bills. This gonna that's, that's gonna that's be that's a hard game. That's listen, that's yeah, a tough this game. Gonna be they, this is gonna be a test for them as the Chiefs sit at nine and, and zero on the season. They are undefeated. And the Bills are eight and two this season. So they are definitely a formidable opponent. Most definitely. I'm going with the Bills. Most definitely. This Bills, they got a loss in this time. Somebody gotta beat. Them. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. This seems like a good team from losing the record. Yeah, they can beat them. I think it's possible. They're favorites. The yeah. Bills. The Bills are favorites. The Bills are favorites. Yeah. They already and talking about the Chiefs yeah. on my thing. So look, I haven't said the dog head of the week yet, and my surprisingly and unsurprisingly, it's gonna be the fucking Chiefs because I don't see the Bills getting paid. I don't, I just don't see it. Like I she's been you. holding it in and out I every week, and then also this: the NFL is invested in this team. Like they fuck with the Chiefs heavy for yeah. some reason. So it ain't that. It's just that shit, the Chiefs, you know, little shit go the Chiefs way when they need to at times too. Yeah. So I take the Chiefs in this game, man. I think they stay undefeated and they roll past the Bills. Um, gotcha. Patrick Mahomes anytime touchdown. I say two passing touchdowns if you want to put it that way. Got you. So I like the Chiefs in this game as well. I also like James Cook anytime touchdown. Um, I like the Chiefs on the money line side. I think that Josh Allen will go over his rushing yards as well. Y'all got anything left for that one? Chiefs Bills? Mm -mm. Uh, Isaiah Pacheco, he's supposed to be coming back this week too. Shout out to him. That's one so of my he, favorite He definitely players. is a yeah, I like him. He's he one of my favorite players. Yeah. Sure. So now you got a two headed monster. Most yeah, definitely with yeah, him and sure. uh, Kareem Hunt. Uh, the Sunday night game, the Cincinnati Bengals, they're taking on the LA Chargers. The Chargers uh, got the advantage as far as in the spread and home field advantage. The spread is minus one and a half towards the Chargers. The total is 47. What y'all liking this? One? I'm taking the Bengals. Bengals. Bengals, they on a mission, man. They, 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 they had no business losing that like game it. last week. That I was like a dumbass call. I'm not gonna lie to head coach Mage. You don't go for two. You don't. So it, you don't go for that two. Is this your is your dog head pick of the week? No, I already gave you my dog head pick of the week. Which one was it? Uh, who did I get you? Uh, I don't think you. I think you took it back though. No, I gave you. Didn't somebody. say Jacksonville. I did say that. <laughs> I'm sure to say that. No, well, we're coach? gonna take that. We we're, we're gonna we no. It might have been. We're gonna we gonna. I'm taking the Bengals. My dog ain't picking it. Okay, I'm taking Bill, the Bengals. Bill, your uh, Bing, your Bengals is your dog. I'm, I'm taking the Bengals, man. I'm gonna write them down because I'm gonna put this parlay in. Uh, what else you got in the uh Bengals game? Is it what? 
Is uh T Higgins back? And I don't know. If T Higgins not back, I'm taking uh Chase. He's still filming. I'm gonna call you back. Oh shit. He running wild. He's he still filming. I'm gonna call you back. He running freaking <laughs> wild out there. <laughs> what you like <laughs> in this game, bro? Because you didn't you got off track fast. Listen. You don't know? You on some bullshit over there. No T. Hey, no, somebody told me no T Higgins. Girl said me no T Higgins. So no T Higgins. I'm taking uh I like Tidy and Hudson again. Okay. Yeah, they, they Hudson they had him at 15 yards last week. They might move him up this week. Yeah. But if he's anywhere between 10 to 15 yards, over. He's going to get over. Oh, he's that's one of his favorite targets. Almost definitely. You like to drop it off to, yeah, I told you, yeah. like you see that last Sunday. Mm-hmm. Anywhere, but if they got him at 10, 50 yards, that's like a gimme bet. Mm-hmm. It's like a gimme. So I'm going with that one too. Yeah, I think. And Chase Brown for receiving yards. So I, you I, like I, I'm a rock. Chase Brown for receiving. I'm going to rock with the Bengals on this one and say, like, you know, I think they pull it out money line. Yeah. I think Bengals go money line. Um, if anything. Do it. As far as in player props, I told no. um, <laughs> my boy Joe Burrow to throw two touchdowns. Burrow to two, th- throw two touchdowns. Yeah. Was, I like Burrow to throw two touchdowns too, and I like the Cincinnati Bengals on the money line side at that. plus one hundred nine. I also like uh, J.K. Dobbins <laughs> to get me. I hope he get. It. Let me yeah. see. Let me make sure I tell y'all right what I like J.K. to do. Man, yeah, he ran wild out there. Touchdown. Balling. Uh, J.K. Dobbins to get 60 and Chase Brown to get 40 rushing yards in that game. And I also like the Bengals. Um, the last game on the board, man, the Houston Texans, they're taking on the Dallas Cowboys. The spread is minus seven and a half towards Hello. the Texans. Uh, the total is 42. This is a Texas thing right now. You know, two Texas teams. Who y'all like? Who you like? Would you use the that? Texans and the uh, Dallas Cowboys in Dallas? Yes, I like I'll anybody that ain't the Cowboys. Who, who they play in where? And they play in Texas. So this this, this the battle of the Texas. Texas, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm taking the Texas. The Texas, listen. They still pissed off from that East Side. Listen, East Side. They East Side Lions we asked what we gave them last week. Listen, yeah. they gonna beat the shit out of Dallas this week. Yeah. Listen, and Nico Collins back. Yeah. Oh, they ass in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> say, they, say they in trouble, huh? Yeah. They ass is grass, man. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, what you like in this game, bro? In this one, I like um, I definitely like the Texans. Um, I'm like the biggest non Cowboy supporter. Yeah. So I'm automatically going Texans for sure. Um, I like C.J. Stroud to get over his passing yards in this game. I think um the Cowboys defense has been like really really poo this week this year. So um and then. Shout out to Dak Prescott, man. You a decent type quarterback. You just stuck in a really, really bad spot. He hurt this rest of the season, bro. I ain't know he's stuck in no bad spot. That <laughs> bitch been stinking it up too. Don't get that bitch no problem. They got that <laughs> bitch know. all. Listen, he they gave him it. all that. I don't he give a fuck. It. I got respect. They gave him respect. all that money. I don't give a fuck. What's going on? You got paid. I'm like Jerry. You got paid. You make it. You make. You make it happen. Yeah. So, I don't give a fuck. What you got to go out there and do? You get the dub. Any player, I don't know what you got to do? Right. Any player props I would take, I would probably take Joe Mixon to get over his yards. I think they're gonna lean heavy on him. He carried the ball twenty five <laughs> times last game, even though he had forty six uh, rushing yards and one touchdown. I think it, that was against the the Lions last week. Yeah, I think this week he still get that amount of carries, but it's a lot more effective against the Cowboys defense. What's the point spread? So, minus seven and a half towards the Texans. Yeah, they giving a minus seven and a half. Yeah, yeah. I, Dallas I think, ain't. Yeah, they, yeah. Dallas ain't yeah, shit. They man. ain't been shit all I, year. Listen, listen. I'm like they ain't this. Been shit. They, they well, Texas might cover that because they mad about that ass yeah, whooping. Yeah. Listen, I like. They uh, gonna try to yeah. punish Nixon too to get seventy rushing yards. I, like I got that. Nixon in any tap touchdown. I like that. Yeah. They gonna try to punish the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're going they they yeah. they to they blow their ass out the water. Because the Cowboys talk so much shit, and they fans talk even more shit. Yeah. So every team that play these Trying niggas punish they put ass. their fucking foot all the way up their ass. I like Tank Dale to go over receiving yards as well. Yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah, that's, that's a pick. That's a pick. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a pick. Uh, y'all have anything else to close out for this uh week 11? Damn, I took watch. Stay tuned for the uh, my short videos. I'm definitely gonna drop them this week, y'all. I didn't drop them last week, but I'm gonna drop right. them. Um, I'm gonna hit y'all with some NBA that same day. I drop them too. NBA I might drop coming. Them hey, be on the lookout for the NBA podcast, boys <laughs> edition. 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? We definitely got a lot of that to cover. We've been just taking it easy, focusing on NFL because that shit is what's popping right now. Y'all got anything to close out? Oh, shout out to Yak Gotti, man. We'll see you next week. For sure, man. Shout out to shout everybody. Out to that, uh, shout out to my people. Shout out to my people that tuned in on hey, Facebook. Hey, too, no, man. fuck that. Everybody, my mama birthday was the day before yesterday. Happy birthday, my baby, my happy queen. Happy birthday, mom. I love you, yes, Miss Biggs. Birthday, mama. Thank you for everything. Thank happy you for birthday. me and that nigga right there. Thank <laughs> you. Love you so much, baby. Enjoy your day. I know happy you birthday, did. Mama. You feel me? Love you. Facts. She said you better send that money. Hey, listen, hey, I said happy she birthday, and then I said, said that you on that nigga, so happy birthday. He stayed trying to sick you on Hell me, Hell yeah, too. I told my mom, I said, call that nigga, he got some money, too. I told you, ma, I told you, I told you, you see, got it. The life of a big brother. I'm the I'm the baby, I don't have to do none we'll of that shit, as long as I week. remember, I'm good. I don't have to do none of that shit, I'm the baby. Bye, ma. Blessings.